Hello, uh, I'm Jerry Paul with the Mesothelioma Research Foundation of America. We're here at the John S. Lyons Memorial Banquet, which is a, the charitable arm of the San Diego Building Trades. And uh, for starters, uh, this is our executive director, Elizabeth Ann Paul of the Meso Foundation. And, and to my left is, uh, is Marnie Emerald, who is a city councilwoman here in San Diego who is also a very big part of the John S. Lyons charitable efforts. And then we have Dr. Gill, Dr. Prakash Gill, who is head of research and chairman of the Medical Scientific Board and is working on clinical trials, Faglin, B4, and many other things. And then we have over here business manager Kirk Crosswright of the local 230 in San Diego who has uh, spent a lot of time and effort supporting the uh, charitable ideals of, of the John S. Lyons Group as a board of directors member. And, uh, and then we have over here, uh, retired business manager, Local 230, uh, Nico Ferrero, and, and his lovely wife, Lynn Ferrero. They have lived here in San Diego a good part of their lives who originally came out from New York City. In any case, uh, Nico is also on the board, and uh, we're very happy to be here tonight to support the John S. Lyons uh, charitable efforts, which in include Dr. Gill and the Salk Institute. Thank you very much. My life is made a lot easier by what you just heard. Um, I work on mesothelioma, which is the cancer caused by asbestos exposure. Uh, the funding for a rare cancer is is very difficult, so the foundation um, supporting such work makes it possible um, to take these steps. So you heard that we look for proteins on tumor cells that are not on normal cells. Uh, once we do that, and by the way, these proteins um, uh, commonly are considered to uh, be addictive to tumor cells and not normal cells. So once you can get to that point, you can make antibodies, which is what we do. Um, we identified four different addictive proteins on these tumor cells. We then go and make the drugs. Um, and I'm a cancer doctor, so I like to go from the laboratory to the clinic. Uh, we've taken first medicine to people already, um, and we actually have uh, patients, maybe no longer patients, with. Uh, mesothelioma living without cancer now, uh, going out two, three years. We have a second medicine. Uh, we just got approval from the FDA um, two weeks ago to initiate studies in people. And I'm glad to tell you that the uh, manufacturing of this medicine is done right here in San Diego. So. The benefits of your support um, and the advantage we see in people then also applies to many, many other cancers. It's not that one molecule or one addictive protein makes only one cancer survive. You then look for other uh, cancers that have the same addictive behavior, and then you can apply all of that knowledge you gained to help other patients. Um, and to do that, we actually invite across the country, we, we have had program internationally that people can send us um, the tumor biopsies. We, for free of charge, we means Elizabeth and Jerry Paul. Uh, I, so, so it's their pocket. I have my hands in, uh, I, <laughs> on the left-hand side pocket. <laughs> Um, that we can provide free service to anybody who sends us tissues uh, from anywhere in the world, that we can tell whether this tumor can be treated with one particular treatment type, um, so can, we can avoid side effects and give appropriate treatment and not waste their time um, not to get to the right treatment. So I appreciate very much for your support. Uh, I'm glad you have this great institute, South Institute and UCSD, and the Johns are wise to support them and let people like me come and talk to you anyways. <laughs>
pl uh, plaques of appreciation to our sponsors and co-sponsors uh, who have worked so hard and so diligently and have opened their pockets uh, to make this evening such a great success. And we begin with Jerry Neal Paul <laughs> and the Nisi, the Nisi Filioma, Niso Filioma Foundation. Thank you so very much for everything you do.